Greetings from the racetrack. It feels like just a couple of days ago we finally got to be able to open up and as things would have it that means it's time to shut down for the year. So I'm out peeling off banners. Uh, thank you to everyone that purchased a banner that was a sponsor. There's many of which who are not represented right now on the fence. It's part of the sponsorship deal. Anyways I gotta peel all these off get them in safekeeping so uh, sponsors can use them in the off season or uh, I'll just have them in storage for the winter time. We had a pretty awesome year out here. I thank my buddy Ryan years ago for the sweet Corvette sweater back when I was a Corvette guy. But uh, we are pretty much wrapped up out here for the year and what a year it's been. From the beginning of this year, it's changed a little bit visually. We've got all of our barriers, the little bit of paving done over there, the building's been moved. We got our insurance, our permitting, everything in line, and we are set up to do five events next year. By five events, I mean five publicly spectated and driving in a bull <laughs> autocross events. So that is super, super cool, which means if you want to stay tuned to our events calendar go to www.brmpwi.com it's black river motorsports park wisconsin.com and you can see our events as i post them there and uh different things of that nature but first thing i do is thank everybody for watching it's been a crazy adventure so far and we still got a long ways to go um this is really you know i've said from the beginning and i've kind of maintained it it's not a giant uh gargantuan budget project that's going on what I really think I'm doing here is showing you guys that, you know, with a little bit of hard work, some planning, you can go out and do this sort of thing if you're uh, ambitious enough to do it and if you don't quit, you know. I don't know how to say it, you know, but there are so many times I wanted to just quit, sell the place, burn it down, you know. Won't go into detail over it, but the last year and change has been a totally crazy, crazy adventure for me. And honestly, it's cool to be able to share it with you guys, and you've seen probably half of it, you know. Most of the stuff that's happened has kind of been behind the scenes the last year or so. Grass is delicious. Unfortunately, because of where I live, we have a very short, nice weather season. That means good things must come to an end out here a little earlier than if you were in a more moderate climate somewhere south of here or elsewhere. But I'm going to keep clipping away here and uh, keep chatting a little bit. And that's the last of them. I gotta go with my faithful companion and pick up a piece of PVC over there. I neglected to move all summer. So one thing I'd said from the beginning is I wanna use the space for autocrossing and drifting. Now, the problem is that the permit that I have to operate says I can do both, that's fine. The insurance that I have does not say I can do both. So, you know, let's say from this point on, if we were to do it publicly, there's no coverage for it. And if you were to add it to any day event, you'd be really at risk of voiding uh, the insurance policy you have or the motorsports insurance you have, which is very hard to get in the first place. Now, that is certainly not worth doing, I'll tell you that much, because it is hard to get. Um, it is really hard to get, and I'm gonna drive over here. It's a little more than I thought. Anybody wondering, and this is what's left of the old drag strip right here. It ran from there to the back. I'll do more of a video kind of on this later, but it started right at the back of the bar, ran right through where I'm standing. The grade was higher, obviously, because, I mean, that's kind of what you'd see at ground level. And I ran all the way back past the garage back there. So kind of interesting uh, little tidbit or snippet into history. But, um, yeah, I'll do, a, I'll do a video on that at another point, probably sometime soon before the snow sets in. I'll do all the filming and whatnot. Dog poop. But I'm gonna go grab the truck and load up all this stuff and get this out of here too. Happy dog. Yeah, it's only five o'clock in the afternoon and it is legitimately getting dark out. I mean, the light is on, so on camera it's obviously brighter than it would appear to be. But uh, it's kind of sad. At the end of the day, we had an excellent first uh, run out here, I guess you could say, this season. So I'm super happy to say that. A lot of people have asked what I'm going to do with the pond, you know, the rest of the property in the back. <clears throat> For now, I'm kind of a, uh, a one-man band financially, um, you know, as far as that all goes. We've got some excellent, excellent local sponsors and everybody, you know, picking up a sticker or a t-shirt or a hoodie here and there on our merch link really does help out but going into the next year or so up here i want to utilize this part of the property as a pit parking you know more so back here 
uh, we'll have to partition off the road that you drive in and out on to be able to do that. But that is a, a short-term goal that I've got. I'll need a bunch of bunker blocks to do that. And again, that stuff all adds up. But this is a totally unutilized part of the property. Unfortunately, I guess, in my case, the property is laid out backwards from what would be ideal. I mean, in a perfect world, I would own the five-acre parcel of land that the uh, rundown old uh, bar on, or the old Bugsy's or Apollo, as it used to be in the Apollo Inn. Uh, in a perfect world, I would own that, but the reality is I don't. And the one time I chatted about it with the prior owner, who has unfortunately since passed away, it was a lot of money. So uh, just it ain't really working out by the sounds of it. But that's neither here nor there for now. We got a nice little piece of property out here. We got a really good start to having a racetrack. So if you guys have any other ideas for how we could use the property in a creative way, I guess, um, drop a comment down below. I'm all ears. And I, I do take input from you guys, like one of the prior videos about not being able to uh, lubricate the one deck bearing on the lawnmower. I can't believe I didn't even think of it, but a 45 degree fitting, grease circ fitting on that would have been the perfect and $2, you know, or less solution. Couldn't believe I never thought of it. Sometimes it takes someone to, uh, point out the obvious before you can see it and I'm no exception to that. So I think unfortunately we're about done out of here tonight. We are really losing daylight quick. I think by my math it's gonna get dark in the next 10-15 minutes because we uh, lost an hour. But I'm going to come back out here this weekend and do kind of a final garage cleanup and uh, whatnot. But just wanted to update you guys kind of with how the season went. Uh, if we can do another five next year when it's really nice out, it's definitely going to be worth doing uh, with the uh, overhead considered and all that stuff. I'd like to be able to build on this and be paying everybody but right now we're very dependent on volunteers which are really really crucial to having any success out here so thank you to everybody that volunteered at the last event um without you guys coming out and braving the cold you know and uh barely having any time to warm up or anything it won't have been possible so thank you so much everybody that's been volunteering out here you know over the last event and then prior to that so seriously thank you guys without all the volunteers you guys watching at home Again, this, this just wouldn't, wouldn't be possible for a number of reasons. One of which is probably motivation, because now I got some momentum going out here. I, I don't want to be letting anybody down either at this point, because we really do have a good shot at it. No one's ever tried it locally, you know, or had a really good opportunity to do it. And I'm going to really run with this one, and we're going to see what we can do. So I, I kind of feel like it's our one shot. It's my one shot in life to do this sort of thing. You know, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but it's, it's just kind of... I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts on the whole matter. Pretty proud to be able to share that with you guys. It's really cool. And uh, I guess thanks for watching along. It's been an interesting process so far. Today's video has been kind of a ramble fest, but um, I guess I had some stuff I've been thinking about and wanting to share online for people to maybe think about. They've been considering taking on something a little bit bigger than they should probably chew. And this is my example of it. It's probably a little more than I should be chewing in life. Got a lot of good friends and family to thank. Thanks to all you guys. Thank you to everybody. My wife at home, holding the fort down. I mean, without it being kind of a village working on this, it certainly wouldn't happen. And just like that, winter has arrived out at the racetrack. So last clip, we were taking on all the barriers. This segment, we're actually going to fire up the wood stove. I've got to split some wood. This is a perfect segue to tell you guys that today's video is brought to you by Brunt, the brand that's transforming workwear. If you have watched the last couple of years of videos, you will know that I live in a fairly cold, rugged environment. Coincidentally, I work in an even colder and more rugged environment. I have for the last 10 years or so now. So I spend a lot of time on my feet and outdoors, going up and down ladders, working with hand tools, dropping things, etc. What I found is super, super important is having good footwear. I mean, just look at how effortlessly you can walk in these. It's amazing. I could probably walk straight across that frozen pond. The little wood still I've got is kind of small, so I gotta split these up pretty good to get uh, the most out of them. If you are interested in picking up a pair of these boots, you can go to bruntworkwear.com slash greenlight10. That'll get you $10 off of your order. The style of boot I ended up getting was called the Perkins. It's most like what I would wear daily at work, and so far, so good. 
there's been no bleeding, chafing, or pain while breaking them in. And as far as I can tell, these are actually pretty quality boot. Um, they're comfortable right out of the gate. So if you know anything about wearing work boots full time, sometimes it is a dreadful experience getting a new pair of work boots and uh, you wear them for a half a day, a couple hours at a time, whatever, until you get them wore in. But uh, these ones, I've worn for a week straight now. No problem, I still have ankle socks on. I didn't even put tall socks on. If you are interested in picking up these boots or any other style of boot, go to www.bruntworkwear.com slash greenlight10. There will also be a link in the description for you to save $10 on your order. So make sure you visit that. Get $10 off your first purchase today with a 30-day risk-free trial by going to bruntworkwear.com slash greenlight10. That's bruntworkwear.com slash greenlight10. Link in the description. decision to uh, pretty much put all the shelving that I got from my good buddy Andy on this one wall. It's going to serve the most benefit in this build, part of the building. Because over time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start fixing up the garage. This is actually a pretty slick little system for putting up uh, shelving. It's going to be real tough. I'll probably throw in a few more screws before I'm done. But I can always build off of this too, which is good. Or add it somewhere else. I've got some leftover parts, which is really handy. It's kind of a little bit of a trick to uh, get this stuff totally aligned and in there, but. bore you guys with the painful detail of doing everything out here, but I'm trying to give you a final update video before winter, so. Just so, uh, That's not right. There. And of course the shelving in. Well, once again, I would like to thank Brunt Workwear for sponsoring today's video, and I would like to thank all of you guys for watching out there across the United States, Canada, and abroad. Uh, without you guys watching, this stuff would not be, you know, nearly as possible. I've got to thank my buddy Dominic for stopping out today from Missouri. He was up in the area, and he wanted to check out the track and uh, Stars Line, and we ended up uh, meeting out here and hanging out for a little bit. So thanks for swinging by, Dominic. That's pretty much all I got for today's video. If you guys want to check out bruntworkwear.com and pick up a pair of boots at the link in the description, I would really appreciate that, as they would. And I will see you guys in the next video.